and Visakhapattam, as you know, one of the fastest growing food in the country, with their lot of is aiming to become one of the busiest port, one of the most lucrative port, one of the world class level ports. So to that extent, the future vision has been planned and today four facilities are being incorporated like international cruise terminal building, then oil bath, then world class park parking terminal, then coverage storage. So these are the four like you know project which has been completed and inaugurated today. And this has been happening because of our Honorable Prime Minister's inspiration, his support, his vision, his dynamic leadership, and with the support of the people of Visakhapattam and people of Andhra Pradesh, this port is day by day growing faster. And I believe by as the vision set by this port, by 2030, 2030, the passengers frequency to this port will be more than 9 lakhs, 9 lakhs, that is the target, cruise terminal, cruise for this cruise, now the capacity at a time is 2000, but that will be enhanced up to like 9 lakhs by 2030. So this is the target being set by this port authority and also we have developed world class park parking facility here and in that park parking whatever facility is incorporated that will create a better ecosystem to have seamless movement of the trucks with cargo bringing and taking them out to the different destination of the country. So this is how the port is enhancing its efficiency and capacity building. Efficiency and capacity building, these are the two important verticals which has been given priority by this port. As a result, this new development is taking place. Port modernization, port mechanization, port digitization is the major tax being carried out by this port authority in the last nine years. And I believe with the support of the media persons of this locality, beautiful, vibrant city of like, you know, Vaisakhapattam. And we are definitely seeking support from all sections of the society. And as you know, yesterday I have mentioned, we have identified 113 projects under Sagarmala in the state of Andhra Pradesh. And we are going to spend more than 1 lakh crore. So, so far, more than 31,000 crores has been spent and completed many more projects and there are many more projects under the stage of completion and also there are many more projects which are under different stages of development. So if all these projects are completed under Sagarmala program then definitely in the state of Andhra Pradesh the port cargo handling capacity will increase to a great extent and which will draw the attention of the uh, global players in many ways and PPP also in that mode also a lot of investment is coming and as you know next to this particular adjacent to this port there is Indian Navy they are also going to develop some 30,000 crores plus project within a short span of time and this will increase a lot of dimension to the strength of this particular port as a whole.